So the first thing that we're going to show is we're going to show how to keep the head still and move the torso in relation to it. So I'm going to show you this from behind the patient and as well as in front of the patient so that you can see it in seated. Okay, so really quickly, I just want you to twist your head to the left. Right, so twist your head to the right. Okay, that's less comfortable for you. That's fair. Okay, uh, so twisting to the right, you don't like as much. Fair enough. Okay, so twist to the right just a little bit right there. What we're going to do is I'm going to get nice and close. I want to control her movement as well as I can. Now, not everybody's going to be exceptionally comfortable with this with respect to professional boundaries. As an osteopathic practitioner, this isn't a problem. You can do this in a way that is quite acceptable and not creepy. The big deal is that you really need to control the patient's movement because if I'm here and I have her move, I can't control. I can't get the movement to do what she needs. Now, if I come in close and I bring her back to me, right, she can relax a little bit more. Now, all I want you to do is I want you to try to twist your torso to the left. Right, and let that relax. Now, if we basically look at her chin and her shoulder, that's what we're looking at. So when she twists to her left, so twist to her left again, your left again. No, no, not your head, <laughs> your torso. So her, tor her chin stays the same, her shoulder gets closer to her chin. And then relax there. Okay. And as she relaxes, if I keep my hand in or my forearm in control of her head, then I can keep her where she has moved. So again, I'm trying to get her right shoulder closer to her chin. Twist to your left again, your torso, fantastic. And relax, and then I keep her there, right? Now I can bring her back to this neutral position, but as I do, I don't let anything go in her head, or in her head and neck, rather. So you see that my forearm has good contact with her head and her neck so that she can't go beyond it. Now, as a general thing, if I ask you, you stay exactly where you are, and if I ask you to twist your head to the left, to the left and then let that relax if you can tell me does that feel more comfortable or less comfortable than we, we already did that what we just showed is less comfortable that's fair yeah okay so conceptually that's what it looks like there come back to the middle was that you oh sweet right on well, i don't know if i fixed it i know it made noise okay so the same concept all i'm going to do is i'm going to ask you to turn around and face me right so it's the same concept. Now here, are you comfortable with your head on my sternum? Yeah. Okay, so not everybody's comfortable with this. You have to ask. A reasonable thing to do if you have to is to utilize a pillow, right? So we're gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm in a different position. So you have to understand the goal is the same. I want her chin to get close to her right shoulder. So we're gonna have your hands there, right? You come forwards to me, All right? I want you to turn your head to the right. There you go. Now, my sternum controls her. I come around here and I control her head and neck. Now what I'm going to have you do, just twist your torso to the left. Let that relax. All right now you see I can control here. I've got good contact. I've got good contact with my other arm. Her forehead or the side of her head is on my sternum. Twist your torso to the right again or the left. Sorry. <laughs> and let it relax. There you go. And that's the same thing. I'm thinking about the shoulder and the chin.